What's up everyone? As the title implies, we're old school vlogging it today. Dog peeing on a basketball. Whoops. Anyways, vlogging old school style, camera in hand, shoulder, already feeling a little tired. But the title today actually serves two purposes, as I am in fact at my old school. So we're here just walking around the dog. And uh, yeah, I figured this would be a cool place to just, you know, chat. Potentially some uh, interesting stories and memories will pop up, so let's see where it takes us. So this obstacle course right here essentially made me the man that you see before your eyes. There's no way it's still there. No way. No way, dude. The styrofoam cup that I threw there in second grade after the fun fair? No, I can't believe it. No, wait, is there even the blade of grass that I put? <gasps> so these right here were the, uh, gossip swing sets. So from what I've been made aware, this buddy bench right here, I guess the idea is if you don't have anyone to play with at recess, you just sit there and then people will just come up to you and, you know, invite you to hang out with them or just see what you want to do. Um, would have been nice to have that when I was here. Freaking. So now if we go under this play structure right here, this is the most private part of the playground. All right. I feel like I'm a retail salesman right now, but you can get a chick under here, man. All the hugs you want. No teachers can see under here. Uh, this is the place I never really got to experience ever in elementary school. I actually have a very uh, sad story about these tire swings right here. So I had this friend, looked like your average, you know, first or second grade kid, right? But I swear to God, he had the strength of like 100 fifth graders at the time. And this guy gave the most intense uh, tire swing spins of all time. Like, I'm not, not exaggerating. There were fifth grade kids that were like already hitting puberty that couldn't give the spins this guy gave. So anyways, one day, you know, he's giving me my daily spins. We're having a blast. I was having a blast, at least. And then, out of nowhere, come all these second grade chicks thinking that this guy will just give anyone tire swing spins. And it was at that moment that I think he realized, you know, why the hell am I giving Michael tire swing spins? when I could be spinning every chick in the grade all recess long, man. And uh, he did, started giving all of them spins. And for some reason, he stopped giving me spins. And uh, I think it was ever since that moment that I've started to have like abandonment issues. When my friends get girlfriends, I feel betrayed for some reason. A bunch of psycho psychological stuff happened after that moment. So after he started tire spinning the chicks, I would go over here and spin by myself and end up uh, sick to my stomach, which I feel like in a weird way is almost like someone who went through a breakup or something and ended up drinking themselves sick, trying to trying to fill the void perhaps with like drugs or alcohol. That was basically this for me. This was my, my void filler. Quite possibly the most depressed I've ever been in my life right there. So this structure right here, literally right there, there was a wasp one day and I was just casually, you know, jumping around talking about Total Drama Island or something with my friends. I remember it pretty vividly. And I reached my hand down, not looking, got stung by a wasp. I think the first and only time in my life, I take that back, I got stung by a bee another time. But yeah, first ever wasp sting right there. Man, what a rush that was. Looks like Benny's over it, I'm over it. It's actually starting to rain now, so it sounds like God's over it. But yeah, do you guys like this type of casual vlog style, you know? Let me know. I have attended more than one school, so uh, you can definitely do more old school vlogs if you guys want. It was cool sharing some stories, plus there's like so many more I have to tell from these days, so perhaps one day I will return. Um, but for now, see you guys, like, comment, subscribe, get me to a million subs so that one day I can come back here and feel like I accomplished something. Alright, see you guys. No way, no way, dude. This is the spoon I put here in fifth grade. Holy crap. Another beautiful garden right here. Lots of good chats with friends. Maybe now any ladies want to come down here with me. Uh, it's to be freaking weird. All right, next place, next thing. I know you think that it ain't too far. 
And there's the spoon from third grade. And there's the spoon from third grade, man. Holy crap. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. Cut out the middle man.